What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you how to create a video grid transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm here in my Premiere where I prepared a sequence with four clips which will be a part of this transition. And basically what we want to do as you saw from the intro is we want to transition from this clip into this clip here. And the first thing you want to decide on is for how long you want this transition to run. I want this transition to run for three seconds. So here we are at our cut at eight seconds. So I'm going to go to five seconds. So then our transition will last from five seconds to eight seconds. And what I want to do is drag our clip that we transition into over here. So we have a three second overlap. But why do we have these other clips? This one and this one. Yeah, they're, they're mostly filler, but they are part of the transition and we're going to use them now. So we're going to drag this clip two up and drag these ones in here and just fit them here through the transition duration. That is nice. So we have these four clips stacked here for a duration of three seconds. Next up, I'm going to cut our top clip as well as our bottom clip, and you will see why in a second. But it's basically because we want to transform the motion of these four clips here. So this first one, I'm going to put the scale to 50, and I want this one to end over in the left bottom corner. So it's going to be like 480 on the X coordinate, and then I guess like 810 on the Y coordinate. I'm going to duplicate this one on the clip underneath. And basically, I just want to change the X coordinate in this one to 1440 so we get it in the right corner. I'm going to do the same thing for this third clip, but this time I want to change the Y coordinate to 270. And that will position it in the top left. And I will do the same thing for this last one here, which we will transition into. And also just change the Y coordinate to 270. We have these four, uh, four videos filled out here. So now we are at the point where we want to create a smooth transition between these like three seconds here from this into this into this and we're going to do this in a adjustment layer so i'm going to come over here to new item and then adjust layer and hit ok i'm going to drag our adjustment layer on top of these four clips here just fit it like so and on this adjustment layer we want to apply a transform effect it is this one here under video effects the store transform and just apply that so what are we going to use this transform effect for it's actually a little bit weird and a little bit counterintuitive, but we're going to zoom in the scale to 200. And we do that because we zoom these ones out to 50. And then we want to figure out which uh, where the clip is that we want to transition from. And it is this one over here out in the top right corner. So I'm going to put the X to zero. And I'm going to put the Y to 1080. Like so. And as you can see now, actually, this will just go from this into this. But we're gonna go to the start of our adjustment layer, enable keyframes on position and scale like so, go forward one second. And we are gonna click on this one here to reset it to go back to its initial state. So we get this thing now. Okay, so let's go to our last keyframe. Let's go forward another second. So we are at seven seconds here. Click this one here, add keyframe, and this will just add the same keyframe that we just in. Go forward a few keyframes like so. And then let's go scale 200. Let's try to make it line up here with our clip in the bottom left corner, which we transition into. And it should be 1920 on the X coordinate and zero on the Y coordinate. And just drag this one all the way out to the end. So this transition has the same duration in as it has out. Now that is beautiful, but we can make this a little bit better. I'm going to come into adjustment layer, select our two first keyframes here, temporal interpolation ease in, temporal interpolation ease out, and do the same thing for these last four here. I'm also going to click on this one, use composition shutter angle, click it off and put the shutter angle to 180. That will just give us like some motion blur, and I think that looks nice. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I upload videos three times a week. But yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Take care, guys. Bye bye.